Hello, and welcome to another MariaDB screencast. Today, I want to demonstrate some of the GIS features of MariaDB. I'm going to be using a program called OpenJump uh, to visualize some data uh, pulled directly from a MariaDB database. First things first, though, we need to load the data. I have a couple of SQL scripts that I'm going to load here into my maps database, which is currently empty. I have a small map, which doesn't take long at all to load. And then I have a world map, and that takes a little longer, but still not very long. I'm not using a whole lot of data for this demonstration. So now if I fire up my uh, MySQL command line client, um, you'll see that I've got a small map, a world map, and then some shapes that I'll be using during the demo. Um, so uh, now that we have some data, let's flip over to the OpenJump program itself. It's a Java program, um, and I have a plug-in here in the Tools menu that lets me query a database. So, let's open that up. This is the query window. Um, I have the Maps database already set up so that it has the right connection parameters. You can see those down here. It's using the JDBC uh, MySQL connector. Um, it's just connecting to localhost to my maps database and using my user, which for the purpose of the demo I've uh, removed the password for. Don't do that in production, by the way. All right, so first let's take a look at our small map. So we're going to select everything from small map. And let me move this out of the way so you can see uh, the data as it's visualized. I'm going to go ahead and run this query. And there you see our small map. We can zoom in a little bit on it. Um, not a whole lot to see. There's some roads, some shapes, um, various little things. Um, so let's, why don't we go ahead and we're going to select the roads. So we're going to select from small map where type equals road. Go ahead and run that query. And you'll see that they highlight it. It's probably a little bit hard to see. Um, so why don't we, um, instead of doing that, I'm going to go ahead and turn that one off. And let's go ahead and let's create, let's select all the roads, but let's select an area, uh, three units around all of the roads. i show you this query. Uh, so select the shape from small map where type equals road. So if we do that, let me run the query. There we go. That shows you it selected an area three units around all of the roads. All right, we can go ahead and hide that one as well. Okay, now let's try, um, let's create a rectangle. Um, I'm just doing a, a poly, I'm creating a polygon uh, with those coordinates. So go ahead and run that query. There we go. That's created our rectangle. And now let's select everything that intersects with that rectangle. So um, I have the shape. Um, in temp shapes, and we're going to select from the map and temp shapes where, you know, the temp shape. So let's go ahead and run that query. And there you go. So it's, it's selected these two objects, which um, intersected with the rectangle. It also selected this one, but it's hard to see. Um, so we'll go ahead and clear those out. Now, Let's select the um, all the objects on the map which uh, are covered by some other object. 
So we're going to run this query here, and there you go. So it's, it's selected this object, which is covered by this polygon. So that's enough of using our small map example. Let's go ahead and clear that out. All right, let's take a look at the world map, which is something that will be more recognizable. And we'll go ahead and run that query. And there it is. It took a little bit longer to run. Um, but it's all there. So this, this World Maps database has some interesting things in it. it has, first, it has the shapes of the various countries and their coordinates. But it also has their names. Um, so we can do things... Um, such as, let's see, let's, I've got a query here, which selects all the countries which have a C in their name. So select everything from world map where the name, that's one of the um, fields in the world map table, uh, where the name has a C in it. So go ahead and run that query. And you'll see that it's highlighted countries like Iceland, and France, and Morocco, Chad, Greece, and others. Now, um, I've got a shape in my temp shapes table, um, which draws a, a zero latitude marker. So if I go ahead and run that query, move this out of the way, run that query and there so I have a I have my zero latitude marker on there let's go ahead and um, remove the countries which have a C in their name um, so that's my zero latitude marker and so as a final little demonstration of of this we're gonna show all countries which intersect this zero latitude marker. So select world map name, world map shape, from world map, temp shapes where temp shape FID equals two, that FID equals two, that, that selects the um, latitude zero marker, and we want to see what intersects that. So drag this off to the side and go ahead and run that query. And you'll see that it's selected all of the countries which intersect. Now you'll notice that there's some things like this out here and that and these islands out here which don't appear at first glance to intersect but you have to realize this these islands here belong to Spain, this island here I think it belongs to France uh, and so on. Um, so it's, it's selecting all the countries which intersect with the zero latitude marker. If we scroll down you'll see that it goes and then if we scroll all the way down You'll see the Antarctica is also selected, uh, so it didn't miss anything. Um, so anyway, that's it for today. Just a quick demonstration of some of the uh, GIS features of MariaDB. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Um, in the notes for this, I will put in links to OpenJump and to the uh, SQL scripts that I used uh, with the data. And hope you have a good day. Thanks.